Thank you very much for letting me speak. Um, people may ask who I am. I'm actually Mark Pylock. I own the American Muscle Car Museum here in Melbourne, Florida. I also am the Pylock why we have three dog parks here mm -hmm. in the city of Melbourne. I can tell you that the people at the, quote, Daily Bread in Providence Place have been very dishonest. They have spread word to other people stating that these people are all on board. Pylock's on board with what we want to do. And when I met those people, finally after I had open heart surgery, I was pissed. Because first thing is, you, I've been in business 33 years. You have to trust people that you deal with. When somebody lies to me and then tells even Rick Neal from Florida today, oh, you're on board with this. They're going to put the daily bread right next door to you at the American Muscle Car Museum. And I've gotten two calls and talked to Rick Neal in the last 48 hours. And he told me that he says, you know, are you going to be at the city council meeting tonight? Because they're voting to put the daily bread right next door to you. How do you know that? Because I talked to those people. So from my point of view, I don't trust those people. And I have lived long enough. I'm 65 years old. I can tell you, you can do all the deed restrictions you want. OK? You can pass all the laws you want. But I can tell you there's going to be urban creep. You put a, quote, homeless transitional housing center there, the homeless people are going to come. Because right now, if the whole contingent on closing down the daily bread has to do with that new facility opening up, that makes no sense. Unless you plan to move all your daily bread operations out the sign up. And I can tell you, I own the 45 acres north of my 42 acres of the sign up. I bought both properties, OK, back in 2014. I bought with the homeless people on that 45 acre of Ugali as well as Club 52 has, I ended up taking five years to clean up all the homelessness there. The city paid me nothing. I spent $500,000 and two years of total aggravation dealing with the homeless people. When we went in there, we ended up cleaning up 500 construction dumpster loads of trash. 500. OK? You know how big a construction dumpster is? Three feet long, eight feet tall, eight feet wide. We found more hypodermic needles, meth labs, you name it, in that site. I can tell you what they're saying. Oh, it was in 60 days of getting the new place approved. Daily bread's going to close. Wait a minute. If that's the case, you can close Daily Bread right now. You don't have to wait three years to get a new place built. Close it now. Be done with it. OK? And from my point of view, I'm going to list off a few charities. And raise your hand if you've ever heard of me. Provide Alzheimer's Association. Mr. Pilot, could you? Honor Mr. Pilot, got you. Can OK. You, Honor, okay. Provide yes, Alzheimer's you, Association. Honor Flight. Helping Seniors, Child Advocacy Center, Pet Posse, Life Revisited, American Cancer Society. We have hosted over 50 plus main charities at our event. We raise over $2 million for local charities every year at the American Muscle Car Museum. In almost every case, I buy all the food, mm -hmm. I buy all the drink, you have the charity, you collect the money, you take all the Chad's cards, you do everything. I can tell you in the last six weeks, we've raised over half a million dollars for local charities. We just did our free Veterans Day open house. Had 4,000 people come from Veterans Day, okay? With all that activity, we have over 30,000 people a year that come to our place. 
We're not open to the public. We do tons of school tours. We have kids that are first grade, preschool, all the way up to graduate automotive engineering kids. I do not want to see a, quote, homeless shelter put across the street. Because I have lived in the big city, and I see how that urban sprawl comes. And when the Daily Bread closes, they're going to be out on the sign up. And then what are you going to do to enforce it? I can tell you I've called the police, and my employees have called the police umpteen times to the homeless people. There's only so much you can do legally, OK? They start serving food at the homeless place. What are you going to do? OK? You're not going to do anything. And then I'm living with the problem. And I can tell you, when these people come to our events, they're typically older. They want to come to a safe place. They don't want to stay, hmm, boy, it looks like I could get robbed here. Hmm, that doesn't look too good. Or, let's face it, just look at the news today in America. These homeless people, half of them are crazy. They just attack people for no reason. Okay? So, my, all right, all right, all right. So, all right, not, okay, so, so, okay. Okay, so from my point of view, Thank you. it can be a dangerous situation. Right. Just have to look at the national news. So, okay. from my point of view, I'm 100% against it. What do I want to do there? I want to build a dog pack. Okay? There is a need for a dog pack and a dog run. Okay? okay. All right. Hey, order. All right, everybody, I will have order. Uh, Mr. Okay. Pilot, if that's so also the time. My goal, I gave a price for a quarter of a million dollars. I have no idea what the value is. Okay. I bought my 42 acres of land across the street for $800,000 in 2014. What is it worth today? That three acres, I have no idea. Okay. Whatever it appraised for, I have no problems paying it. Right, okay. okay. But from my point of view, I see issues with what they have said because they have lied to me. Okay, well, thank you. And I don't trust anything now they say after that. Thank, thank you, you, Mr. Pilot. Thank you.